Right, so I've got all the bits I need to do this fountain. I'm going to have a go at doing it in the garage because it's raining outside. So I've got um, some blue slate that I already had. Um, just a normal blue slate that you can pick up at any garden centre. I've got the chicken wire, so multi-purpose wire netting, 3 dollars from B&M. Possibly the world's smallest pump from Amazon, so I'm not sure what to expect from that, but we'll see. A pot, again from B&M, $4.99. I've got my shiny balls, which I love. They are so reflective and gorgeous. Love those. They're $9.99 from B&M. I've got a couple of pots from uh, Poundland and a couple of like plastic plates as well, again from Poundland. Not sure if I'm going to need those, but I thought possibly I might. So, let's see how we get on. Yeah, sun has come out, it stopped raining, so my solar panel's on charge over there. These are the two pots, two for a pound from Poundland. I've put some cobbles in that one. I've put one in the bottom of my big pot, and that's got some cobbles and a bit of slate in there just to try and make it flat. Sit in that one on top in there. These were the saucers. These were three for a pound in Poundland. they my tiny little pump. Um, there's suckers on the bottom of the pump, but it doesn't seem to want to stay put. So I've taped it in place using some florist tape. That's going to sit on there like that. It's got different little fountain tops to put in place, but I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to put some slate and stuff on there. A little bit more slate, obviously, just to weight it down and hold it. Fill it up with water. Put my chicken wire on the top. Now the chicken wire I've done as a double layer because they're quite big squares. And if you're using small stones, they could slip through. I'm using slate, but I just wanted it to be a bit more tougher. So I've done a double layer. And that sits on top with the pump poking through there. Then I'm going to chuck some more slate here on top, but fill that up, and then my silver balls will go on top once it's all filled with water. Hopefully, it'll squirt out and it'll all be lovely and pretty. So, I'm gonna have a go at putting that together now. Before I go any further, I thought I'd just show you this. This is a tiny, tiny little matchbox sized pump, and I was really a bit unsure as to whether or not it would be any good. But you can see the solar panel sitting on the table there at the moment. Um, but the uh, jet of water is about 15, 16 inches high, so I'm actually quite quietly impressed by that. And it comes with different nozzles as well. There's four different nozzles in total, uh, so you can choose the type of jet. And I thought I'd also mention that the slate, when I first did it, it made the water really, really murky. So what I've done is I've just stuck it in a bucket to give it a quick rinse um, before I put it in there on the top because I thought that all oh, that sort of horrible, gunky, dirty water might block the pump. So just a little tip. Okay, so the finished fountain, all put together. Um, I changed the nozzle for one of the other ones because it was quite a high jet and I just wanted it a bit lower. So this one's about 12 inches high. Um, so I've got the slate in place, and you can see that because it's quite bright now out here. And um, obviously the silver balls, the lovely shiny reflective balls are looking beautiful on the top. And the fountain's working really well. And um, the cord for it is sort of just coming out the back. It's sort of hidden by the stone and stuff. You won't be able to see that. But um, it just goes sort of round the corner. And I've got at the moment, I've just got it sat on there, just in the best place for the sun. Um, it doesn't come with a stake or anything, just stick it in the ground. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to attach it to a cane or stick it on the wall. Um, I'm not sure yet because I don't know if it's actually going to stay over here. My aim is for it to go in that corner of the garden over there at some point. But we need to finish that corner off first. Oh, that's my other fountain. That one's um, actually an electric one. So that's all, you know, wired in and everything. So, which is why I wanted a solar powered one to go over in that corner because there isn't really enough, um, I can't get the power over there very easily. Um, so, but I'm really pleased with it. So thank you to the person that first posted this idea on the group. Um, I love it. And there you go, quite easy to put together. Uh, good luck.